hi it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th okay you wouldn't believe how many people tried to tell me what the date was yesterday it's like do you not get it do you seriously not get it the date doesn't matter Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles about investment. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth investing in this? Should I go? Should I go someplace else? I feel like this is like not getting what you thought you were going to get, you know, not, it's like, I didn't, I thought I was going to get more out of this. I thought I was going to get more. Perhaps it's time to, you know, go someplace else. Three of pentacles, three of pentacles about teamwork, working together, creating something. We have somebody here that is working on a project by the looks of things or they're in the process of creating something new. Maybe coming up with some plans or following some plans by the looks of things. Four of Cups, Four of Cups. We have somebody here that is discontent. You know, they're not happy. They're. They're not interested. It looks like we have somebody here that is not really interested in their current situation. They may be, somebody is probably trying to give them something that they don't want. I'm not interested. It's like, no, I'm not interested. So we do have a person that is thinking right now. They're thinking, you know, what should I do? Should I go? Should I should I go or should I not go? I feel like uh, this is about a job. It may have something to do with a job. It may have to do with work because the Three of Pentacles is in the past. So it may have to do with a job. We have somebody here that is thinking about the job. or they're th Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like it's about the job or it's about the opportunity. You know, is it worth it? Is it really, 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 really worth it? It's interesting because I just added up the, t the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, which equals the Ten of Pentacles. So there's probably is an opportunity for abundance here. There's an opportunity to have something very comfortable and long-term and permanent but it's going to require work and it may require, you know, it may require relocation. I don't know. But the Four of Cups is like, it, lo it looks to me like we have somebody here that's looking for more. It's like they're in a situation where they either, we have this person that's ob obviously not sure what they want or they're not interested. It appears that they're not interested. It's like they got an offer. They got an offer and it's like they're, not sure if they want it or not, or they're not interested. Let's give me another card. Moon reversed. So the moon, re somebody could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer, but there's a reality check here. There's, there's a fear. There's fear. Somebody may not be getting anything, or they may not be interested in, I don't know. It's like it's, there's some sort of fear here. They're not interested in accepting something but the moon card reversed is a reality check it's a release of fear it's uh seeing something very clearly so i feel like we have somebody here that is seeing something clearly maybe they're seeing that they're dealing with a person that is not interested Maybe they're trying to get somebody to notice them that is more interested in their work, more interested in something else. You know, they're more interested in their work. Or there could be a, even a third party situation here with the Four of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. We got somebody here that is, you know, contemplating.
it's like really seeing the truth as well. Somebody is beginning to realize the truth that, you know, it's, it might not be worth it to continue to invest in this if, you know, this person isn't really interested in what I have to offer, you know? Temperance reverse now under the Seven of Pentacles. That's upheaval. It's chaos. It's moody. It's frustrated. Uh, it's negative behavior. There's a need to re-examine. Somebody's re-examining. They're re-evaluating. Um, struggling with change. Getting impatient with waiting. Somebody is really getting impatient. They're getting impatient. It's like, I'm not... There's, there's no evolution here. I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting anything in return. There's a lack of return here. I'm not getting anything in return. Seven of Wands reversed. Giving up. Giving, giving up the position. Somebody's giving up. They're giving up. It's like, I'm not going to fight for this anymore. I'm not. There could, we definitely have somebody here that is extremely frustrated. It feels like they've been fighting for, it feels like fighting for somebody's attention. Be dealing with a Sagittarius, could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is this is like um, no harmony. This is there's no harmony in this partnership. There's no harmony in this union. There's no reciprocation. I'm, somebody isn't getting it. They aren't getting what they thought they were going to get. They, they, they aren't. And it's realizing the truth. It's like coming out of the darkness with the moon reversed. That's like clarity. It's a reality check. It's like seeing the truth. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the end. It's over. This is the death of a situation. Something is ending. It is definitely ending. There's going to be a change. It is a big change. I just looked, I just zoned in on this owl. This is a major, major, major change. I do believe we have some... Uh, There's a release of, of fear. There's realizing the truth. There's some sort of extremes here as well with the temperance reversed. We have somebody here that has been fighting for a position. They've been fighting for it. They have. They've really been, and they've been really trying really, really hard to get this position or to get some sort of reward or to get something, you know, but I feel like there's a third party, honestly. I also feel like we have somebody here that's been, been really contemplating, you know, uh, investigating as well. That's, that's investigating. They're re-examining. Yeah, that's what it is. They're re-examining. They're re-examining their whole, you know, investment. You know, re-examining the investment. Should I, should I continue to invest in this or not? Should I go? Should I go someplace else? Should I, should I do it? Should I? Should I? I also feel like we have somebody here that's been going overboard. With temperance reverse, they've overdone it. They've overdone it. They've they've overdone something. Hmm. 
There's being ignored. Somebody is being ignored. And there's conflict here. There's conflict. A conflict of interest maybe or just feeling in conflict. Magician reversed. That's an abuse of power. Missing an opportunity, not taking any action, not using resources or abusing, abusing. There could be some sort of abuse here. Definitely going overboard. No success. Somebody's not having any success. They've went to extremes to get somebody to notice them or something like that. Gets, and it's like it's not working out. It's not. Somebody may even hear the words, no, I'm not interested. I don't know, because we have this no, and then we have the not interested. But this is admitting defeat, the seven of wands reverse, stepping down. There could also be some haters here, okay, that we could have somebody here that is really being, reached the point where, you know, they've been, somebody may have tried to instill fear you know, with that moon card, some, going, you know, somebody may have tried to instill fear in another person, which may be trying to get them to give up on something. You know, people do that. You may have haters. You know, we have a disguise here. Somebody wearing a disguise, you know, maybe hiding behind a screen or something. You know, trying to scare somebody, trying to get somebody to step down, you know, trying to instill fear. You know, it's, it's kind of insane with the magician reversed, okay? I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to, cause upheaval they're trying to scare somebody as well trying to get somebody to give up okay because of their own paranoia we may have somebody here that is paranoid with the moon reverse you know and they and they want to instill fear disillusioned you know they want to instill fear on another person This is somebody that is abusing their power. They're trying to. They're trying to scare. I do feel like we have somebody here. That's another whole story that is trying to scare somebody. They're trying to scare somebody who's not even interested. You know, that, that doesn't even uh, see things their way. You know, so that's what it is. That's, that's power. It's like trying to gain power. Trying to gain control. This person may be going to extremes to gain power and control. You know. They may tr be trying to. They will not be successful because the magician is reversed. That's no success. It's like, and it is. It feels like we have some, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like trying to use magic, you know, black magic. Somebody's trying to do that. Try, and that's fear-based. It's like somebody is really, it's like they're trying to come up with something to uh, stop somebody. That's another whole story. It's not going to be successful. The magician is reversed. That's not success. That's no success. Trying to get somebody to step down from their position. And, you know, we may even have somebody who's trying to abuse a situation. They're trying to, you know, get somebody to see them. You know, to see them. It's, it's an abuse of power. we got somebody here who's trying to abuse their power. So this could go many different ways. Trying to get somebody to see them, to stand down as well. You're going to need to defend yourself, defend yourself, protect yourself. Protect yourself. We may have somebody here that does need to protect themselves. There is something that's going to be revealed with the moon reverse. That's like a revelation. Okay, so something is going to be revealed. There is a major change here because that owl and there's intuition here. Really listen to your intuition. Pay attention to your intuition. We got somebody here that is jealous and they're acting inappropriately to get some sort of attention to instill fear. This is somebody that is jealous. So just keep that in mind.
We may have somebody here that is mentally unbalanced with a magician reversed right underneath the temperance reversed. That is somebody that is mentally imbalanced. This is like violent. We may have somebody here that is violent. They could be paranoid as well. Could be trying to pick a fight. I do believe we have somebody here who's trying to pick a fight because they feel powerless and they need to feel that power. They need to feel that they are strong. They need to feel that power. This is a manipulator with the magician reverse. It is a mani somebody's trying to manipulate somebody. This is an individual that is unbalanced. They're trying to get somebody to give up their position. Now, that's another whole story. You have to stand your ground, okay? Do not let this person scare you. Seven of Pentacles. This is about investment, perseverance, persevere, persevere. Definitely inappropriate behavior here. There is some sort of inappropriate behavior. Something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. We have somebody here that is off. They're off. Maybe they're mentally off. And maybe that's the realization with the moon reversed. There's definitely a realization here with that moon reversed. Truths being revealed. We do have an ending with the Ten of Swords. That is the end of things. It's a major ending. It's a it's like a and it could it could be. It could be. It could be overkill. It could be overkill. Somebody is going to extremes. They are going to extremes to get attention. Maybe they feel alone. They feel very, very alone. They're not getting. They're not getting their their the the attention that they need. Seven of Cups reverse. Seeing clearly. This is getting gaining clarity. Somebody is gaining some clarity. They are. They're gaining some clarity. They're gaining. They're coming out of confusion coming out of illusion. This is making a choice to end something. Somebody is making a choice to end something. They are, they are, they're gonna give up because whoever they're dealing with, I feel like whoever they're dealing with really isn't interested in their scheme. It's like it's a scheme or they're not interested in their Craziness, whatever it is. Moon Reaver is definitely not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in uh, fighting with you. I'm not interested in in uh, debating with you. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in uh, investing in this situation. This is definitely making a choice, seeing the truth, ending something. This is the end. It is the death of a situation. Goodbye. Not going to invest in this at all. Re-examining. Giving up. We have somebody here that's not getting the success that they thought they were going to get by, I feel like trying to scare somebody or, or lie to somebody. There's lies here. All is not as it seems. Somebody's not getting the success. So I feel like, I don't know, maybe they're coming up with another plan. That three, let's see what that three of, that three of uh, pentacles, that's about teamwork. They may be working together with somebody else, collaborating, communicating, trying to come up with another plan. Somebody is really trying to take somebody down. They really, 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 really are. Is 
is because they can't focus on themselves. This person is so mentally imbalanced that they can't focus on themselves. You know, they got to focus on other people because they need the power. This person has power and control issues. They're mentally imbalanced. Instead of just focusing on themselves, they want to bring other people down. That's what we got here. sick and it is sick temperance reverse is sick it's ill it's ill we got somebody here that is is not uh balanced they're not balanced they're not in a good place if you gotta take somebody down you're miserable Miser misery loves company right Something is definitely off. There's a fall from grace. There is a fall from power here. Seven of Wands reverse, Magician reverse. Somebody's losing their power. They're losing their stance. They're losing their position. Because whoever they're dealing with uh, isn't interested. Isn't interested in their, I don't know if it's their games or their chaos or their, you know delusions seeing very very clearly what the truth is making a clear choice three of wands definite decision being made to focus in a new direction we have somebody here that is, is focusing on the future. They're not looking back. Their decision is made. They're not interested in participating in any type of illusion. They've made their mind up. They've made their decision. This is somebody who has made a decision, okay, with the Three of Wands reversed. They're no longer indecisive. They may have been confused. I can see that they were, but now their decision is made. There could be some travel that is coming up with the Three of Wands. This is expanding. It's like uh, leaving the past behind, big plans for the future, focusing on the future getting prepared somebody is going to be working with somebody else they are in the future they're they they've been thinking about it it's like coming to a reality check accepting the truth seeing the truth it definitely with the seven of cups reverse with the moon reverse it's like seeing the truth you know it's over it's over i'm focusing on the future definitely it's like Definitely making a definite, 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 definite decision to look forward. So somebody's moving forward. They are. They're all done. It's over. Focusing in a new direction. Star reversed. Star reversed is fear. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Somebody's trying to instill fear. I told you that. They're trying to scare somebody and stop somebody from moving forward. Absolutely. Be prepared. Be prepared to overcome whatever this hurdle is. There is somebody here that is trying to stop somebody. The star card reversed. Why is this happening? There's a faith. There's no faith. Somebody needs to step forward in faith. They need to have faith. They need to believe. They need to believe in themselves. They need to heal themselves. Healing is needed. Temperance reversed. Star reversed. There's some profound self-healing that is needed here. We got somebody here that is ill. They're, and I feel like they're very ill, you know. They 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 don't have any faith. They're 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 in a dark place. Somebody is, in, but they are in a dark place. They are, and they're going overboard. They're going to extremes to instill fear, and they're not having any success. This is depression. 
okay? We also have despair. We, we have somebody here that um, needs to believe in themselves. They need to have faith in themselves. There's protection. There's protection here. Why is this happening? We have somebody here that is very depressed. And like I said, misery loves company. There's an abuse of power as well. There is definitely an abuse of power. Somebody is really, really trying to get somebody's attention. And they're, they're going to do it with any means that they see possible. You know what I mean? I really, I really, really, really feel like we have somebody here that is not in a healthy state of mind. Okay? This person is feeling so I don't know if it's paranoid or what that they are trying to bring their fears onto somebody else's misery loves company. And it makes sense because the 3 of pentacles is company. This is misery loves company. Get prepared to be tested by an individual who is not getting any attention. This person is going to do something inappropriately. They're going to do something inappropriate to get attention. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is about happiness. It's about uh, family. May have something to do with a family member. Has to do with a relationship. Um, we may also have some. There's going to be a change. We may also have somebody here that is is getting prepared to uh, step into a new relationship because and this is a completely different story there's thousands of people watching this the three of wands to the ten of cups and then above that is the seven of pentacles it goes like this this is like stepping into the uh, the light right stepping into happiness stepping into a relationship stepping into happiness somebody's about to step into happiness they are They may be making another choice. They may be choosing another option. They absolutely could be. They could be saying bye to something that really, really hurt them. Behind that three of wands is the ten of swords. That is leaving the pain behind. Okay? This is leaving the pain behind. So somebody's leaving the pain behind. And they're stepping right into the Ten of Cups. Okay? This is leaving it behind. Leaving the pain behind and stepping into happiness. Okay? Seriously, so somebody is leaving something behind. They've been depleted. They've been in a situation where there is no balance. There is no harmony. They haven't been getting the attention that they deserve. Or they haven't been interested in the person that they're with. They may be making a decision. Obviously, we have that Seven of Pentacles. That's deciding, okay? They're making a decision to step into you know, a new relationship or something like that. Anyhow, it's time to go. Good luck.